Hello everybody, and welcome to how to play Fire Emblem Heroes on your computer for free. So I will be linking this website in the description below, how to play Fire on PC and Windows only. Um, it lists four emulators, which is BoostX and Nox Player, and Memu and LD Player. Um, I don't recommend those two, BlueStax and Nox Player, because they're kind of intensive on your CPU. So I'll be using Memu. Uh, I'll be clicking uh, the links it shows me. Uh, number one, download Memu. Number two, download the Micro G. You should be able to use any version 4.4, 5.1, 7.1, or the 64 bit of 7.1. You have no restrictions. Go ahead, do anything. All right, so it's going to install real quick. I'm just speeding up this process in my video editor. Uh, do not click launch now, okay? Whatever you do, do not click launch now. It should give you two desktop icons in the middle, menu and multi-menu. We're gonna have to click multi-menu here because if you launch it from now, uh, your micro G download will be all for nothing. So once this loads up real quick, we're gonna click on import and we're gonna choose the micro G wherever you downloaded it. During this, we're gonna go download Fire Emblem Heroes with APK Pure. Um, do not click on any ads, do not click on anything. If you have an ad blocker, you should be fine. It should be directly saying, download here, download this file, download this APK. Um, now, it's the menu has already finished downloading and importing the, freak, the thing, the micro G. During this part, you should not encounter any problems. Any problems you do encounter, however, you should go to the forums I've provided where you downloaded the Memu or LD Player, wherever you want. Uh, look in the comments, there should be um, solutions on what your problem is. Since this page is two years old, which is pretty long for any errors to show up, any problems any people had, it's pretty easy. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So we're gonna install Fire Emblem Heroes right here. I just clicked on the APK, the large APK thing on the side button, and we're gonna launch this up. If it seems fine, like nothing is lagging, nothing seems out of the usual, and it looks like the same as your phone or any device you're playing on, you are very good to go. So log into it with create slash link Nintendo account, and now I already signed in already because you know I don't want to show any of my personal information that isn't out there. Because, you know, that kind of would be bad. And you should be... You should know what how much storage you have left in your computer. I have, like, over, like, 100 gigabytes left in my D drive. So, I should be good. Um, here, I had a problem with uh, summoning. Go on Google Play. You should, uh, just sign in. Just sign in, guys. Once it shows that screen, go back, return to the title screen. And log back in and see if you're able to summon. All right, so I'm on the summon screen. It looks kind of fine. Everything looks fine now. Uh, I'm gonna go bottom right because that's the lucky, lucky orb placing thing. And oh, I got a zomb. <laughs> okay, I sh yeah, that's that's decent. That's decent enough. Anyways, if this tutorial helped helped you at all whatsoever, drop me a like, drop me a subscribe. I might be releasing or updating this in the future if this gets outdated. Please tell me in the comments if it does get outdated. Um, if you have any questions below, please add them. Um, I'll be paying attention to my comment section. Uh, and yeah, thank you very much for watching and hope you have a great rest of your day.